director, producer, and also ultimately a storyteller. Unfortunately, he is not able to, to make an appearance today due to uh, the contraction of COVID. Yeah. So when we heard the news, we were actually also pretty bummed up. We were really looking forward to meeting him. Look at us dressing up like this guy. Yeah, no, we are so right committed. The game. Very, very committed. I was curious, like, why aren't they people cosplaying, cosplaying works and characters here tonight? <laughs> Yes, but um, nonetheless, we are here to celebrate this very, very wonderful exhibition, Pop Up Museum, um, that is going to be here. And um, moving forward, uh, we'd like to have uh, organizer and presenter of the world of Tim Burton, president and CEO of Toy Box Projects, Ms. Yuri Aizawa, up forward to share a few words. Hi. Thank you so much for waiting up. We actually opened the exhibition for your preview from. Um, um, registration three thirty until five thirty, but we didn't expect that all of you will come so early from three thirty, and we made you wait for so long. So thank you so much, and then sorry to make you wait. Um, um, before I proceed to what I wanted to say, um, I think I really I was I think we already have our announcement yesterday. Yesterday, um, that Mr. Tim Burton. Master class and then we agree as a book signing is cancelled due to um, unfortunately he has fallen to you know, COVID 19 and then he was actually really looking forward. We were all excited, everybody, all of I'm sure media and all our partners and fans and everyone, we were looking forward to, to this, but um, unfortunately um, he is unwell, so we have to cancel this. And then also, I'm so sorry to say this. But we were actually planning to have Q and A session virtually with Mr. Tim Burton, but he got um, he got a bit worse. I mean, he he's ill, but worse. And then his son, I'm sorry to say that he's unwell today, not able to make it even online for Q and A session. So we will replace the Q and A session later on when it's a little bit better. Then we will announce to all of you to have an other schedule on the Q&A and exclusive interview and everything as well. Um, so that is the first announcement and, and apology I would like to make. Um, so we have uh, come up with a quickly, quick change today. <laughs> so I'm sorry, we are not Mr. Tim Burton, but me as an organizer, I can share with you why we bring in this such a world-class pop-up museum to Malaysia. And we have Miss Brandy, Representing the Burton Productions collection and exhibition manager, so about exhibition, we can get more detail from her later on. So this is uh, something that we wanted to share because, um, unfortunately, he is not here today. But I hope that you are, um, after you, um, you went to the exhibition before this, right? It's like pop up music before this, right? And then I think you know how much special this is, and then you know how different it is, how rare this is in Malaysia. So I hope that we really need your help. Um, at this moment, a lot of people are focusing into the news that Mr. Kim Burton is not here. But um, I hope that with your help, um, we can celebrate the fact that this fantastic pop-up museum is in Malaysia and the only stop for South Asia and last stop for Asia. So um, we hope that we can focus into that. and. Um, yeah, so, so that is what I want to we, we quickly decided to change the, the content of the press conference. And then we think Mr. Tim Burton, as I mentioned earlier, we will change it to reschedule to another day. Yes, and then sorry, um, so that is my, our announcement. <laughs> but before, uh, before that, um, later on we have premiere night, so I will do it officially. I mean, I will um, thank, thank you. Um, officially later on again, but all, I mean, all these partners and sponsors and everyone, we are here and we will disappoint you, but the same that we are so happy that finally we can open this exhibition. So um, now, uh, thank you so much for everybody, and then I will thank you all individually later at the premiere, but I think for now we wanted to, we want to go ahead with the detail of the exhibition. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Ms. Aizawa. Next, we would like to get Stacy. Okay. Um, so yes, I'm Brandy Humphrey. I am the collection and exhibitions manager for Tim Burton Productions. 
Um, so I have actually been traveling with this exhibition since 2009 when it started as a MoMA iteration, and it has now been in this form since 2014, and Kuala Lumpur is now the 12th stop on our tour. Um, it's, as you've probably seen, because you have walked through before you got here, it's over 520 works in 10 different sections, which are divided by theme and cover the vast output of his creative process from drawings, paintings, uh, storyboards, written scripts, notes to actors, uh, photography, and more. Um, as Yuri said, he's devastated that he can't be here with us today. He was really looking forward to it. He's been getting videos and photos every single day and when he had making comments and he was incredibly excited and is now very sad by not seeing it from the earlier booth. So I went to the exhibition and I had myself with a kind of American movies, but I went through the exhibition and I found a lot more of this station which was wonderful and nice about me. To be honest, I haven't finished the exhibition yet. I had to rush up because the press conference was starting. So they told me the press conference I had not yet. So my question is, uh, so people out there, many people, I mean, among my friends, so they know Tim Burton as a movie creator, as a movie director. I feel that this exhibition will open the mind to them as Tim Burton, who is a creator of art, of uh, you know, the whole art world. So what do you think about that? I think that's exactly right, and that's what we, we do hope for, for our visitors. I mean, there's over 50 years of works in that show. There's one painting that's in the influences section that he started when he was 14 years old. Um, some of his early stop motion films are what got him into Cal Arts and then got him an apprenticeship at Disney. And we think, in general, people are always surprised and a lot of times uh, don't really know what to expect going into it and we've just astounded by the amount of things. But we were kind of also hoping that this location at Pavilion was going to help with that because people will go into the shop or they'll walk by and they'll see the facade and they'll kind of peek through and they may either know him as just a director or they may not know him at all. And they're going to experience something new and exciting by it. Whereas if it was in a museum somewhere isolated on its own, you'd have to seek it out. And what we want is people to discover something new. I'd like to say more things about this. Of course, the detail of the exhibition and the concept and everything, I will leave it to Brandy. But that part, um, why um, the opportunity for Malaysia and then maybe Southeast Asia or any of the fans around the world that will really to come to Kuala Lumpur. Um, on top of that, of course, um, although Masterclass, which was scheduled, Masterclass by Mr. Timberton, tomorrow, scheduled tomorrow is cancelled, oh, sorry, postponed, but then uh, we are arranging it virtually uh, online on the 14th of April. So, you know, we are not only providing this exhibition, but if you are interested to find out more about this creativity, how we come up with all this, you know, you have this opportunity, uh, Team Protect Foundation is providing us the, this opportunity to have this. And that's one of it. And then this is one of the points that I wanted to highlight too, that, um, that I would like to be, I, we wanted to be contributing, sorry, we want to contribute to the art and entertainment scene in Malaysia. Hopefully this will also influence not only the creative people in Malaysia, but general public to you know understand about not only this new, uh, movie and Mr. Timberton, but also how you know how creative it will uh, hopefully we have seen in the episode. My advantage. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, hopefully this will help or influence uh, Malaysia and anyone who comes to that exhibition. Writing from Bentak Sutra. Uh, my question is: uh, Is the entire exhibition, exhi all the exhibits, uh, everything authentic, or are there any replicas in the exhibit? And what is the estimated value or ancient value of the entire exhibit? <laughs> well, obviously the last one I can't share. <laughs> it's confidential. Um, but yeah, I mean, everything is authentic. Um, the puppets are screen used ones that were in the films. Um, the only ones that are not is the very large margin from Mars Attacks is recreated by the people who made the originals uh, to the exact same specs. But 
the original oversized Martians uh, were run over by tanks in the film. So they, <laughs> as part of the scenes, um, so they don't, they don't exist in their full shape anymore. Um, and then the only other thing is in his studio, about 85% of it is all exactly as it is on his desk. We pulled things from him and then he tried to take back pens and paints from us and we would give them to him. Um, but some of his most recent drawings um, are uh, reproduction prints that we have made from the originals because he is still actively working in those sketchbooks and we haven't been able to remove the papers. So we took them from him when he was on a convenient Christmas break from filming, <laughs> scanned them in and returned them to him. Um, so hopefully we will then have the originals, but they are all his works um, and nothing is by other people.